Marcus Peters had a problem with Lamar Jackson? Allegedly? Really? Ooh. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And before we get into this video, uh, I got to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the way that y'all support literally every single day. Uh, thank you for watching and supporting the channel, watching the videos and everything. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I know a lot of y'all have subscribed, but make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Um, and turn notifications on because I, I just I really don't like when people miss stuff. I don't want you to miss anything. I don't want you to be behind. I want you to stay up to date on everything. So make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. Uh, we got more collabs on the way, more stuff on the way. Um, especially next week, please, please subscribe and turn your notifications on, especially if you're in the Baltimore area next week, because we got something different, special, and we'll see when we get there. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Um, I love y'all and I don't have a problem with y'all, but apparently Marcus Peters, uh, he may have had a little, little issue with Lamar Jackson. Uh, and this is according to this article. Um, written by Russell Street Reports, Tony Lombardi. And I, of course, link it down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but in the article, um, he went over some different things and went over some of the remaining needs of the Baltimore Ravens, some remaining team needs. And, of course, uh, it's been a big topic of conversation. A lot of people talking about how the Ravens need a cornerback. They need more in the secondary. Um, and I think that comes more uh, from fear and what has happened more than what they actually need. In my opinion, the reason, reason I say that, the reason it comes from fear is because people are scared. Like, hey, man, what if somebody gets hurt? What, what if somebody goes down at the cornerback position? And I also say what has happened because that has happened. It has happened like every single year to where we lose one corner for a certain amount of time. And then it's like, oh, we, we feel that pain. And it happens like really every year. So I guess it really is a need uh, to just stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Be as prepared as you possibly can be um, before you end up being in that situation. Obviously, we don't hope that anybody gets hurt, um, but it is the NFL and stuff happens. Stuff happens, and unfortunately, as a Ravens fan, we definitely know that stuff happens injury-wise. Uh, but hopefully, uh, with their new person in charge, um, hopefully the injuries, they go in a different direction than they have been. Um, but anyway, cornerback has been a uh, has seemed like a pressing need for the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of people have been talking about what could Marcus Peters do? Could they bring Marcus Peters back? Uh, will they bring him back? And let's just read exactly what the article said. Said, uh, the Ravens roster is quite impressive, but that doesn't mean there aren't some remaining holes to fill. For my money, the most glaring is at corner. Rocky Seen looks solid during recent OTAs, and he's a player whose NFL career trajectory is trending in the right direction. He's a gritty player who plays with physicality and is best suited as a boundary defender. Yassin probably lacks the fluidity in his hips to be an effective slot corner. So, there's sort of preface in it right there like, hey, <laughs> he's an outside guy. He ain't no slot corner. He's an outside guy. He has primarily been an outside guy throughout his career. So, they, But they're just letting you know, like, hey, he don't need to be in the slot. He should be on the outside. But continuing. I said Marcus Peters is still available. And recently he took to Instagram and commented on a post by Lamar Jackson. And, of course, we did cover that uh, in a video where it seemed like Marcus Peters was missing the Baltimore Ravens. Because um, he, he commented on Lamar Jackson's post. He said, missing my guys. Uh, I'll miss my folks. But anyway, uh, continuing back to the article, said the post is interesting in that it suggests the door between the club and Marcus Peters remains open. Uh, it's also interesting that Peters took, Lamar, took to Lamar's Instagram to comment. I've been told, here we go right here. I've been told that Peters wasn't such a big fan of Lamar towards the end of the 2022 campaign when he chose not to play through his PCL injury after several weeks off in the playoffs looming. Now... That part right there, the wording is a little tricky, it's a little tricky, because uh, they put when Lamar Jackson chose not to play through his PCL injury, they didn't put when Lamar Jackson couldn't play, they didn't put when Lamar Jackson was injured, but when he chose not to play. So that the wording is tricky, because this wording, it, it, to me, let me know if I'm wrong, uh, but the wording is insinuating that it's like Lamar Jackson sat out when he could have played. That's what it's insinuating. Lamar Jackson let everybody know, like, hey, I was hurt. I couldn't play. And even if I was out there, I wouldn't be able to be the best that I could be, and I would have been taken away from my, my team. 
So that would have been selfish of me. But anyway, continuing. Uh, it says, uh, when he chose not to play through his PCL injury after several weeks off and the playoffs looming. Ooh, ooh yeah, that wording is, ooh, that wording is tricky. Ugh. But anyway, it says, allegedly, the two engaged in a heated exchange with most of the vitriol coming from Peters. Time heals wounds, and a new contract doesn't hurt either. So, Marcus Peters and Lamar Jackson allegedly, apparently, according to this, got into a heated exchange about Lamar Jackson not playing through the injury. Um, so, two football players... <laughs> <laughs> Two football players on the same team, they argued. <laughs> What's new? Um, to me, I, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, what I think it could have been, if this is true, I would think like Marcus Peters is probably just frustrated and scared, um, given his situation. reason I say that is because he's on the last year of his deal with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm sure he loved his time with the Baltimore Ravens. He loved being a Baltimore Raven. Um, he fit in. We, we talked about it in a previous video. There's some guys that, like, when they come to the Ravens, it seemed like they played for the Ravens forever, and it seemed like they were meant to be with the Ravens forever. Like, guys like Calais Campbell, guys like Anquan Bolden, um, and, and there have been more, too. But Marcus Peters is somebody that – oh, Steve, Steve Smith Sr. is another one. But Marcus Peters is somebody uh, that fits that mold. Like, oh, man, he's great fit for the Baltimore Ravens, that attitude and just what he brings and brought to the table. Um, but Marcus Peters, he was on the last year of his deal last year. And I'm sure he thought like, hey, we, we got a shot, man. We got a real shot. And look, I don't know what's going to happen to me beyond this year, but I, I want to go out with a bang. I, I want to make the most of this opportunity. I'm trying to get this thing done. So Lamar, Tyler Huntley's cool. Anthony Brown's cool. But they ain't you. We need you out there. We want you out there. We, we got to have you out. Like, come on now. Come on now. Play through this thing, man. I know you can do Even if you have 50%, we need you out there. That's what I think it, it, it will be about. That's how I think, in my mind, that conversation or that argument could have went. Obviously, a lot more anger in there, probably a lot more not so team keep it clean words, especially from Marcus Peters, because we know, like, even at a Ravens presser, Marcus Peters was dropping bombs. I'd never forget. But anyway, um, it's, it happens. Have you ever been at work? And you got this coworker that you just cannot stand. Even no, no, no you ain't even got this, It ain't even that you can't even stand them. It, it, it could be that you, you just sometimes you just get so annoyed with them, and then y'all, y'all just got into a, a shouting match. Y'all had a boiling point where just things just blew up. But you still got love for them. You still got to work with them. You still got to show up every day and get the job done. So I mean, again, this. To me, what it seems from this article, it just seems like it was frustration with the situation. Lamar Jackson hurt. Ravens headed to the playoffs. Lamar Jackson ain't playing. Marcus Peters like, man, probably thinking about, hey, this might be one of my last shots. That, that's just my opinion, though. I wasn't there, so I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, continuing. It says, but like you've seen, Marcus Peters is a boundary defender, and he's a player who has started his entire career. If he returns, it's unlikely that Marcus Peters will accept a role as a reserve. He just isn't wired that way. Of course, defensive coordinator Mike McDonald could bump Marlon Humphrey into the slot to accommodate, uh, but is that really the ideal way to employ the three-time pro bowler? And, yeah, I, I agree with that. Marlon Humphrey, he can play in the slot, as we've seen, but he's an outside corner. That, that's where he got his money at. I mean, well, he got his money from playing slot, too, from filling in for, like, Tavon Young and stuff. But um, he, he's an outside guy. So you pay him the big bucks to be an outside guy. Um, Marcus Peters and Rocky Singh, they're not slot guys. I mean, I'm sure they could do it every once in a while, but they're two outside guys. So obviously Marlon Humphrey, he's locked there as an outside corner, as, a, as the Ravens corner. Um, and now your number two guy seems to be Rocky Sin. So something that we've talked about on here too, like, yeah, I wouldn't expect Marcus Peters to want to come and just be a reserve guy, be a backup. Like that would be, oof. you know how humbling that would be? Like you, you, you done started your entire career from the Chiefs who, I forget that he played for a lot of times, but from the Chiefs, uh, then to the Rams and then to the Ravens, you've been doing nothing but starting. 
Nothing but starting. Nothing but starting. And to, to come back to the team, to be a backup, ooh. <laughs> I just I just can't see that happening with no Marcus Peters. But uh, anyway, um, as far as I, I know, I've seen a lot of people uh, sort of taking victory laps about, oh, this this the reason why Marcus Peters ain't back with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, if his I, I don't think it's this. Uh, I think it's this play. I think it was his play, how it just seemed like he just started to fall off a bit. I, now, I don't think this stuff helped, like especially especially the one with Harbaugh. Ooh, that, that, if anything, that was the one that kept him away from being on the team this this uh, offseason. That's the one that kept him from being re-signed. Not an argument with Lamar Jackson. No, not not that one, but the one with Harbaugh. Uh, whoo, because I think it was after the Bills game. And then they they tried to clean it up. I think they, I think Harbaugh was like, "Oh, Marcus Peters, he was uh, he was yelling at Adafi away, or he was frustrated with Adafi away because of no, 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 no. He was talking to you. <laughs> he was talking to you, Johnny. Um, but again, it, it's football. It happens. You're not when you go to work every day, especially if you have coworkers. Everything ain't going to be sunshine and rainbows and peaches and cream every single day. It's not going to be that way. And there are going to be some coworkers that you just straight up don't like. You don't like, you don't click with, you don't vibe with. But I don't think this is that with Marcus Peters and Lamar Jackson. Especially, again, because of the Instagram thing. If, if he really didn't like Lamar, if he really had a continuous issue with Lamar Jackson... He'll be doing comment on his Instagram for no, like, like again, and this is Marcus Peters, like Marcus Peters is somebody he, he's straight up, man. We've seen it. He is straight up. You, he is one of them people. Like there's some people you got in life where you can just look at them and you can tell how they feeling. They ain't gotta say nothing. They ain't gotta say nothing. Marcus Peters seemed like one of those people. So I, I don't take Marcus Peters as a type to waste his time commenting on somebody's Instagram. Or even engaging in anything with somebody who he just wasn't feeling like that. I, I just don't see that. So I don't think it's a continuous thing. I don't think Marcus Peters has an issue with Lamar Jackson. But I think he just may have had, if this article is true, he may have had an issue with that situation with Lamar Jackson. And, and to me, again, I think it may have just been frustration and just fear of what could be uh, with his career after uh, this past season um, and him just really being like, hey, like these opportunities don't come around all the time. Um, we got to take full advantage of this thing. And I want Lamar out there more than another quarterback like a Tyler Huntley, like a Anthony Brown or whoever and so on and so forth. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with Marcus Peters, though. We'll see uh, where he ends up. Um, he had the visit with the Raiders and we ain't heard nothing since like nothing since. But so we'll keep an eye on that. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all, just like I'm sure Marcus Peters told Lamar Jackson, hey, I love you, I appreciate you too. Uh, but uh, anyway, team keep it clean like Marcus Peters is still for now. When it comes to being a Baltimore Raven, we out.